some great charities with us today so I'd like to call up please all together Paul from Collective Calling, Tom from Age Concern, Lily from Triple A and also Evanina from Deborah if you could come up please. These are our fabulous charity representatives. I wanted you all to see who they were, know what they're doing so that we can all get involved because these are the people that are really making the difference. Oh, we have an extra one, do we? Come on then, we, this has got to be so fast, people. Okay, we got, we've, we've gone from five to one minute. <laughs> okay, all right, start over there. Okay, start with you, one minute. Hello, my name's Jackie. I'm the president of Alzheimer's and Dementia Support International. Um, we are hopefully setting up the first AFA, if anybody knows what AFA is, it's the Affiliation of Families for Alzheimer's, and it's mainly Spanish. We're setting up the first British one in Sabineers. We already have a charity shop. We're doing loads and loads of events. You will see our campaigns everywhere um, throughout the months. Um, we're here to help the carers of Alzheimer's and dementia. There are over 44 million sufferers of dementia at the moment. And a lot of those, I think there's about 400, eight, no, 800,000 in Spain. So we're here to help the expats, um, the carers for dementia. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Gemma Carr. This is my husband, Paul. We have a charity called Collective Calling. Um, we help locally and internationally, and I'll, help my, I'll let my husband explain to you. <laughs> so we help the local homeless community here on the coast at our Collective Calling base. Uh, they come around to our base. They do art therapy. They receive shower. Uh, they receive clothing. They can wash their clothing. We also help underprivileged children here on the coast. Monday to Friday, we supply 30 children with a packed lunch to take to school every day. And we also build transitional care centers over in Tanzania. So we rescue children from the streets. They're taken into this center where they're rehabilitated and reunified back to their parents. One thing that we would love your help with here on the coast is there is a big issue with um, the homelessness, but it's really difficult to find um, people who are homeless on the coast, but as soon as you start to scratch the surface, you see that there is a problem there. So if anybody comes across any um, homeless persons at any time, please contact us, we'll go out, we'll speak to them, we'll offer them the services that we, we offer from the base, and we'll try and build that bridge to, um, to gain relationships with more um, people along the coast who are homeless. So that's where we really need your help. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for being here. My name is Lily, and I'm a representative volunteer for AAA. 
It's the largest and only animal shelter here in Marbella, for Marbella and San Pedro. Currently, we are taking care of 600 animals. We have about around 400 dogs and 300 cats in our care, and every day new ones are arriving. We are totally based on volunteers. We do not get financial support from the government. We do get a little bit of support from City Hall. However, it's not sufficient to take care of all those animals. We rehome at least a thousand animals a year, but a thousand or more are coming in. So it's, a, it's going around and around. We cannot do this alone because we are only volunteers. Uh, we have no marketing director, uh, no event organizers or any paid people. So we need volunteers in all departments. If you cannot spend any time to either walk the dogs or come and help us physically, the simplest thing you could do is help us financially. A membership is only five euros a month, which is two cups of coffee a month. Please sign up to be a member or a friend of AAA so we can continue our work in taking care of all those animals who otherwise would be on the street, sitting at terraces where you would have your coffee, you would have 20 cats like a few years ago. We take care of them, we sterilize. It's a very important program from us, sterilizing all the homeless animals so that they will not reproduce. Thousands and thousands of wild cats are being caught by us and sterilized, put back in their home or rehomed. So please, if you ever want to do something, become a member of AAA, take care of the animals so we can keep them off the streets, so you can walk safely and clean through Marbella. Thank you for your help. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tom Burns. I'm president of Age Concern Marbella San Pedro. I think most people in the room know what we do, and it seems to me that everybody who's been speaking so far, with the exception of, are involved with Age Concern. Uh, homelessness, Alzheimer's, all of that. Uh, I'm fascinated this morning by the concept of integration and sharing best practice. I don't think enough of that is happening. And I think the, the setting up of the WhatsApp group is essential to share best practice and to make sure that we all sing off the sheet. I have one idea about integration and this, and I was fascinated to hear all the young people over here, and thank you very much again, you were fantastic. But young people should be involved more with elderly people, and I would love to get involved with the colleges and the schools with regard to helping the younger people to help the older people and to understand, and I'm going to appeal through them to talk to their principals and other people. But the sharing of best practice and the integration is the best message I've had today, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. So well done, everyone. Hi, my name is Evanina, and I work in Deborah in the Butterfly Children Charity. For those of you who don't know what um, butterfly children, the condition is, basically one in every 227 of us are carriers of a condition called butterfly skin, EB, and if both the mother and the father are carriers, they have a 25% chance of having a child with butterfly skin. This means that their skin is sorry, as fragile as a butterfly's wing. They are missing the glue that holds the skin together, so their skin is fragile, and every nappy change, every Sorry, I want to say in Spanish, etiqueta. What's this in? <laughs> uh, label, thank oh, yeah, you. This yeah, is label. a great thing about Maravilla, about being international. <laughs> Every label can hurt their skin, can create wounds, and they have open wounds for, um, you know, they, they can last for a week, they can last for five years, and they have a short expectancy, life expectancy. Deborah was created here in Marbella by a couple of architects who were waiting for their firstborn, Inigo. And he was unfortunately born with EB. He was in hospital for four months and the parents were desperately looking for help, for information, for guidance, because no one knew about the condition. It's an unknown condition. And they traveled to the UK, met the people in Deborah in the UK, and they said, this is what we need in Spain. We need a place where families can come to and not walk alone, walk with guidance. So in Deborah, in here in Marbella, we have nurses, we have social workers, and we have psychologists, all funded by the general public, who travel all over Spain to help families when they have a newborn with a condition. So we would travel to the hospital within 24 hours of hearing of the newborn, and we give 
obviously psychological support and instrumental support to the family so they can learn how to embrace their child, how to change a nappy without hurting their baby. And most importantly, we're training the health professionals from the hospital so that they will know how to treat um, the babies that will also, you know, become, become adults and also will need a lot of support. I'm absolutely loving, I can't find Nicole. Where is Nicole? Nicole's just gone, <laughs> or leaving, but I really want to say a massive thank you, Nicole, on your way to the toilet, <laughs> on your way for a, you know, pamper, <laughs> you're looking beautiful, you're looking beautiful, and this is just incredible, this is the Marbella, I'm, as you know, a bit Spanish, a bit French, a bit Polish, this is just incredible, I went to an English school, bringing together all these people that are looking into how to becoming, you know, changing the community, making a community more embracing, embracing disability, embracing homelessness, embracing animals, is just absolutely blissful. And thank you so much for doing this for all of us. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I need to say, sorry, if not my fundraising colleagues will kill me, that if you are <laughs> interested in any way in helping, and I'm really excited about seeing how we can all help each other because I think you know that AAA gets the blankets that we get in our charity shops. We have a lot of people volunteering in the charity shops and there's a beautiful intergenerational um, thing going on there with young people volunteering from schools, from EIC, from Aloha, from the Spanish schools. They come in, they learn about customer care, which is invaluable experience. They meet, you know, older people. So I'm not sure if you say older people. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm no, I never know. Being Spanish, you never know what the politically correct thing is to say. But thank you. Anyway, thank you so much. And if you want to get involved, charity shops, you can volunteer. Charity shops, you can bring all the things that you have that you no longer need so they have a second life. And you can come and meet us in the office in Marbella to meet our team who are traveling throughout Spain. And they will love to meet you. Thank you so much. Very good. Hello, good morning. <laughs> I am Victoria Herrero from C. Calaquinta, a residential care home which we are going to open in about two weeks. I think to have a better together, we have to take care of our elderly as well. And I agree with Tom of age concern to have a good interaction and to have, find a good event. The social interaction between the elderly and the young people is a great project. So you young people, welcome to see us in CK La Quinta. And thank you so much, Nico King, to let CK La Quinta to be part of this project. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Christina. I'm here as part of the consular team for the British Consulate in Malaga. So thank you for the organizers for letting us come here today. Um, if you have any questions, Brexit related maybe, please do come and see me at the stand outside or, or wherever you can catch me. If you have an international association and you would like somebody from the consular team maybe to come to a regular meeting to give uh, some sort of uh, Brexit update, please let me know and we can discuss. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Joanna Shanowska, and I'm from the Marbella Guadalmina Rotary Club. And we're very proud to be one of the sponsors of the event today. And very much the kind of things that are being talked about here are the values that we espouse in Rotary. Rotary is not a charity, but it is about fellowship, it's about friendship, having fun, and also supporting other charities, including environmental ones. So we are having our own Plastic Awareness Day on the 1st of June as well. So do please come and talk to us, connect up with us, because we do a lot of ongoing work and we want to do it within this community. Thank you. Hola, muy buenos días a todos. Mi nombre es Pilar Valladolid y soy la fundadora del Proyecto Social Desarrollo Humano, desde donde hacemos diferentes actividades de tipo, o mejor dicho, que promueven el desarrollo personal y son de interés social, de interés cultural y de interés personal. 
Llevamos 12 años haciendo estas actividades y una de las que estamos llevando a cabo en Marbella, en varios colegios para niños y niñas, es un gimnasio emocional. Y lo que pretendemos con este gimnasio es que los niños y las niñas se conozcan más y mejor, que aprendan a gestionar sus emociones y eh, con todo ello que logren comunicarse y relacionarse mejor. Muchísimas gracias a Nicole por darnos la oportunidad de, de estar aquí y poder presentar el proyecto y gracias a todos. I'm going to do a quick translation. Pilar obviously is Spanish and it's really nice to see that the international community is mixing with the country we live in, which is fundamental. And We've always said every year that we want more interaction between Spain and the nationalities and having Pilar this year so actively getting Spanish people involved is wonderful because we are guests in Spain. Pilar's dedicates to helping children develop an emotional gym. So basically understanding their emotions, being able to deal with their emotions and a fabulous um, um, group that just complements everything. I can't thank you all enough. And we're just realizing this is basically the core group, core group of the interests of Marbella. So there's something here of interest for everyone. And then when we take the break now for coffee, you know who you're making a beeline for to be able to network and get to know each other that little bit better because through friendship, it will work. And I just want to say one more thing. We talked about plastics and everything. There are some wonderful places that have started, like the Kempinski Hotel not doing plastic straws. You've got Los Naranjos Golf Club that don't have plastic bottles in the restaurant. I don't believe in naming and shaming, but I do believe that we can promote the people who do it right. And if we join forces to promote the people who do it right, everything will just fall into place. I think now we're going to breakfast. I'm going to pass you to Georgina and get out the way. Don't, don't try and go with the agenda, Nicole. That's my department. <laughs> Thank you so much to all the charities. Let's give them a really big round of applause for all the work that they do. Please go sit down. Muchas gracias. I think it's so great to have to see for you all to see how many really important charity organizations are working in this area. I would I would encourage you to all think what can you do? And that's what we, this is our last little session where we're going to feed back about what can we do for our charities? How can we integrate with our charities? What as a business would you be happy to do? Is there anyone that you just heard speaking now that you'd like to fundraise for? Is there something that you would like to do? Would you like to go and volunteer in a charity shop? If you can write down on your post-it notes, really practical things that you can do for these charities because especially as a business community these charity partnerships offer us amazing marketing opportunities so if you can think of that as a really good marketing idea as well as CSR as well as community involvement then let's help our local charities so I'm going to give you five minutes before we break to just write down those ideas thank you very much everyone